Hey guys, it's Papa Steve on the move, back in Banff National Park. Today we're at Taylor Lake Backcountry Campsite. This is a really beautiful spot. We spent the night here last night. Weather's been great, smoke's cleared up. Hang tight, I'm gonna show you guys around. The Taylor Lake hike starts directly from a large parking area beside the Trans-Canada Highway number one between Banff and Lake Louise, past Castle Junction. There's a board with some information about the hike and a simple map of the route in the parking lot. To reach the trail, you need to go through the gate in the wildlife fence. On the other side of the fence, the dirt trail turns right and heads towards Taylor Creek, then proceeds west to roughly follow the creek upstream. The Taylor Lake hike in Banff National Park is a hike that's more often chosen for the destination rather than the journey. It is recommended to use hiking poles and pack additional clothing as temperatures drop near the lake. The distance is almost seven kilometers or just over four miles with elevation gain of 600 meters or almost 2,000 feet. Mountain bikes are not permitted. You'll soon come to a wooden bridge crossing Taylor Creek. For the first kilometer of the hike, the trail is fairly flat as it starts making its way through the forest. In places, there are views of Taylor Creek flowing nearby. After about one kilometer, the trail begins gaining elevation. From this point, it's a long, sustained climb to Taylor Lake. As the trail continues upward through the forest, Taylor Creek becomes further away from the trail. There are a few places where you can look down and see the creek through gaps between trees, but eventually the creek curves away from the path and out of view. The trail is ever upward, switchbacking through the forest with no change in scenery and no flat or downhill sections to catch your breath. Along the way, there are some makeshift bridges crossing muddy sections on the trail. Eventually, there's a slight change of scenery when the trail reaches another wooden bridge crossing Taylor Creek. This is a nice spot to rest before embarking on the final approach to the lake. Once you cross the meadow, you'll arrive at the east end of Taylor Lake. Mount Bell rises sharply from the shore forming a wall along the south side of the lake and Panorama Ridge is to the north. Hey guys, here we are. We've arrived at uh, TA6, uh, Taylor Lake, backcountry campsite. Mountains all around us. Campsite's actually about uh, not 200 meters over that way behind the trees. Uh, this is the best place for water. I'm just going to drink right out of the lake. It's a nice moving stream. It's pretty muddy here still early in June. But uh, drink. I'm going to drink from here. If you go down a little further, you're willing to walk another uh, 200 meters. There's some fast moving water there. So uh, maybe collect on your way in. If you're, uh, if you're on your way into town when you're about uh, 200 meters from, uh, from completion, uh, stop and grab your water. It's just a nice fresh spot uh, downstream here from the lake. If you'd like to extend your hike by exploring the area further, there's a trail that ascends to Panorama Ridge Meadows to the north and a trail going south two kilometers to the smaller but scenic O'Brien Lake. You'll see the sign junction when walking through the meadow towards Taylor Lake. Dogs are welcome on the trail, providing they are leashed and are permitted to camp overnight. The small campground is directly beside the lake and has an open feel and good views. The campground is usually very wet in June and the first half of July, but most of the snow melt passed in May this year with exceptionally warm weather. Despite that, there was still a lot of mud on the way into the lake. Backcountry permits are required, so make sure you reserve in advance on the Parks Canada website or at a visitor information centre. The sites are beautiful right beside the lake. If you arrive early, grab something right up front and be rewarded with beautiful views from your tent. At the far end of the lake, below Constellation Pass, you can see a small waterfall flowing into the lake. It sounds awesome during the evening. There are six food lockers, so I believe there are originally six sites, hence the name TA6. However, Parks Canada is currently only allowing five reservations. There is a communal fire pit and plenty of wood, despite the reservation site advising no campfires. 
While we did not start a fire, we did enjoy some time around the one started by another camper, who insisted there was little danger given the abundance of water nearby. Despite several wildfires around Canada, there was little smoke and good visibility. There is one pit toilet on a hill at the southwest corner of the campsite. You must climb a small hill to reach it, which could be a bit messy in the rain. It was very clean, so Parks Canada crews must get up there regularly. So hey guys, that's Taylor Lake Backcountry Campsite. Really is a beautiful spot, only about six kilometers from Highway 1. That hill, it's a little steep for this early in the spring, uh, but it's a, it's a nice entry level spot. If you're testing out gear, it's close. You can get here in just a couple hours. And look at the scenery, hey? If you guys wanna ask any questions, leave them down in the comments or reach out on social media. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Till next week, I'll see you guys on the trail. It's Papa Steve on the move.